those things and making sure, like you said, that they are maintaining a sustainable house. That it's they're not going to be coming back as because they need funds. They're going to be coming back as a success story to make sure that that housing stability plan and that budget is supporting the reason of why we're assisting this veteran or this family with funds. Especially if they have family, you know, it's like for them to go another month, another month trying to scrounge up where am I going to find this two hundred dollars to pay the rest of my rent is is too much. And if we know they're already going to be in that situation, let's just say, you know what? I got a place that's seven fifty. It's right down the street. Just take a look at it. sustainable right now, you know what I'm but when he move in, he have to pay his application of $30. Mm -hmm. Say, I have to consider that they're veterans, that this is the whole money that they get for the full month, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and even though I'm not here to sustain them, but I, I say, okay, what I help as much as can, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, you deserve that. Some of the going through right now, Questions just to get a, a, a bigger picture of like what's really going on with them. What what is the actual standard? It also goes back to building that rapport. And if you feel that you have that rapport and you're, that person is comfortable enough for you to ask those questions, you can ask those questions. If it's if you don't feel you have that rapport at that moment, then don't ask those questions there. Because remember, at the end of the day, the fact that they're coming back to you says a lot more than them just coming and saying, "Hey, where's my check?" I'd rather them come back to you to have that conversation. A lot of them just need to understand. For example, when I sit with a client, I, I start with, why don't you tell me ideally, if in, in the perfect world, where would you see yourself living? Would you see yourself in a house? Would you see yourself in an apartment? Once you start to get their responses, you kind of start to really understand the way this person is, the way they're thinking. I have a lot of clients that tell me, oh, I can't be in a small apartment. Okay, so, so you have some confinement issues, okay. So now we have to look at, or I can't be in a very tall building, or it, it, it depends, or I can't be somewhere where there's loud noises on a very busy street. All these things are, are telltale signs that kind of lead you into the next question then. And all of a sudden, they're just pouring out the information you're not even asking anymore. But they really need to understand that the questions are only geared towards, I want to help you get into the ideal place so that we end homelessness. This is about the task at hand, which is ending homelessness. It's about the housing component. Yeah, and if they understand that, then we're good to go.